Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got two products from TechPlus. These are uh, both power banks, both built in solar charging, both built in wireless Qi charging, and one is 10,000 milliamps, the other one is 30,000 milliamps. You can find both of these on Amazon, and I'll have links to both the 10,000 milliamp and the 30,000 milliamp in the description below. We're going to dig into these right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at both of these power banks. Uh, there are going to be some similarities, obviously, but we do have a 10,000 milliamp and a 30,000 milliamp, uh, depending on how much backup power you think you may need. Uh, is what you should go with. Uh, your more compact one we're going to start out with is the 10,000 milliamp power bank. Uh, and the things that you get with this, you get a kind of a carabiner here to strap this to your backpack. This is going to be great for any outdoor activity because it does have a built-in solar panel, as you can see, on the top. Uh, and this would be perfect for hooking to your backpack or bag while you're out and about. And that will be actively charging this power bank while you are out and about. Now, it's a secondary charge mode uh, to the cable that they give you. It's a standard USB to micro USB. That will charge uh, much faster than the uh, solar will. Uh, but uh, you can use solar as a backup charging or kind of to keep it topped off or keep it going uh, during your day. So taking a look at it, it's very rugged design here. Uh, it is IPX66, waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. Uh, you can see down on the bottom, we do have a row of LEDs indicating how much uh, you have left in your power bank, uh, 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, and 75 to 100%. You can see there's a little green LED, uh, even my overhead lights are uh, activating that solar panel. Uh, which is also a very nice. Now on the back, you do get a little flashlight that is built in here. You can activate that. There's a clip on the back to clip this in if you don't want to use the carabiner. And we do have a, a wireless charging pad on the back so you can charge devices wirelessly. Uh, you also uh, get, of course, a power button here. Uh, and if you hold that power button down, you will get a fairly bright 1.8 watt flashlight. Uh, and you can dim that. You can set it to strobe uh, so and uh, even faster strobes as well. So if you're in an emergency situation, you have that built in. Now, if you just push it once, it'll turn red, which means that... Uh, uh, the power is activated on the device and your wireless charging is also activated. Uh, but overall, just a really nice design, very small and compact for 10,000 milliamps. Uh, it'll take about uh, four to five hours to wire charge this and totally charge it up. Uh, but also, you can let the solar panel atop off the charge. Now, I wouldn't recommend using the solar panel for uh, totally charging the power bank. It would just take entirely too long, but it is great for keeping it topped up when you're out and about. Now, knowing that we have the solar panel in there, uh, that's a great addition, uh, but what I also like is that these both have wireless charging pads on the back built into them, uh, making sure that your red LED is on by pressing your power button once. Uh, you can just set your phone down on here and no problems it'll change it to blue letting you know that you are wirelessly charging here and it charges through a case no problems whatsoever uh, getting this to wirelessly charge. Now, of course, you have other ways to do this. If you don't want to wirelessly charge, you can use the USB ports here. There is a micro USB port, again, for recharging the power bank. Uh, you can plug it into any uh, USB or laptop uh, to charge it up or use a power brick from your phone or tablet. And you have two full-size USB ports at five volts, two amps, each uh, to uh, you know output power so you can basically be charging three devices at once a wireless device and two of the uh, wired devices at the same time now not lightning fast charging 
But then again, uh, when you're out and about, uh, it's still going to be good for giving you power in situations where you're not near an outlet. Now let's take a look at the 30,000 milliamp. Now it's pretty much the same footprint as you see on the 10. It's just a little bit beefier. You get the same accessories here, same little charge cable for micro USB, uh, but it is a bigger unit, obviously having to house triple the milliamps with uh, the 30,000 over the 10,000. Uh, so if you're looking for more power, uh, then you've got this one. And uh, again, shockproof, uh, dustproof, uh, IPX66 uh, waterproofed as well. Very rugged design here. Doesn't feel like I'm going to break this thing if I drop it. Not a big deal. Uh, very outdoorsy uh, in rough environments. Uh, if you're in uh, industrial type work or whatever and you need something, this is going to work out really, really well. Uh, now you can see, again, we've got the same LED uh, output here. And even my overhead light activates uh, that solar panel uh, that is a little bit bigger, of course, on this one. But then again, it's got triple the power to uh, feed as well. Uh, so overall, just really, really nice. Very grippy on the back. Again, we've got that uh, nice uh, wireless charging pad on the back. Uh, overall, just a really nice design by TechPlus on both of these. Uh, so let's take a look at the USB ports on this. Now on the USB ports on this, you've got a couple different options. You do have a USB type C and a micro USB for input on this. Uh, the, the USB type C does not seem to be an output. It is only for charging the device. So if you uh, have a lot of USB type C cables around, you will be good to go. Plus you get your two standard USB, uh, full USB ports output so you can again uh, charge up to three devices at once. You also have the same uh, backlight here uh, for flashlights, uh, emergencies, uh, and a strobe, of course. Uh, and of course, then if we continue on, we'll get our red LED here, letting us know that we're ready uh, for charging and wireless charging here as well. So wireless charging on this one, uh, again, works just as well as it did on the 10,000 milliamp. You'll see it turns to blue there, uh, starts to charge, and no problems whatsoever. Now I'm not getting fast wireless charging or anything like that on this. Uh, if it starts to blink blue like that, and you'll see that I moved it, uh, it, it was off the uh, spot where it needed to be. So just make sure that you get the position correct and you're good to go. I didn't really have any problems lining it up as you saw right there. So overall, I think TechPlus did a really good job on these. It really just comes down to how much extra power do you need? Do you need 10,000 milliamps? Uh, do you need 30,000 milliamps? It's going to take a little bit longer, of course, to recharge the 30 milliamp, the 30,000 milliamp one than it does the 10. The 10 takes about four or so hours. Uh, you're going to look at like six to eight hours to recharge by a wire on the 30,000 milliamp and recharging from zero to 100 on the actual um solar panel is not advised. Uh, that'll just take days, literally, because it's such a, sm a small amount. Although, if you do drain some power out of it and you're walking around uh, with this in uh, outdoors, it is going to uh, top that battery off for you. So it is a nice inclusion, uh, especially when you're not near anything like a power outlet to be able to uh, recharge this uh, fully. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about either of these, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.